North Korea hacks cryptocurrency in desperate bid to raise funds for nuclear war. And a plot has been uncovered of an attempt to have a South Korean company to mine Monero XMR. Monero, unlike Bitcoin, does not use a public ledger saying where every coin is, allowing users a greater degree of anonymity. But this makes the digital currency more attractive to hacking groups who wish to steal the cryptocurrency. The North Korea hacking group, called Andreal, were able to penetrate the server at a South Korean company last summer. They used the leftover energy after the hack to mine Monero without the company noticing. They were able to mine 70 Monero coins, stealing around $25,000. Monero is a particularly popular cryptocurrency in Asian countries. Kwak Kyungju, the head of a cybersecurity analysis group at the South Korean government-backed Financial Security Institute said Andreal is going after anything that generates cash these days. Still, it is unknown at the time if Andreal has compromised any other servers. As Monero is designed to avoid being tracked it has climbed reasonably fast over the past two months with law enforcers focusing software tools to monitor people using Bitcoin. Monero has a value of $401.75 and a market capitalization of $6,250,872,300, $4,612,192,905. Market capitalization refers to the total dollar market value of a company's outstanding shares. Earlier this year, the UK government announced that they believe North Korea was behind the cyber attack that crippled NHS computer systems. Their ransomware called WannaCry hit businesses and government services worldwide as it infected more than 300,000 computers in 150 countries in a matter of days. Ben Wallace, security minister said, North Korea was the state that we believe was involved in this worldwide attack on our systems. This news comes as Yapian which ran the popular South Korean Bitcoin exchange service Ubit, revealed that it is to close down after being breached in December. More recently an attack on yet another South Korean Bitcoin exchange, Bithum occurred in South Korea's Internet and Security Agency Kaza have pointed the finger squarely at North Korea for these attacks.